Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you're here. So I'm home from Iowa. I had a very uh, pleasant ride home. Uh, it's a 19 hour drive. I did it in two and a half days. Um, very grateful for safe travels that I arrived home without any incidents, no accident, no flat tires, no breakdowns, no very little traffic. I just ran into a tiny bit of traffic in Indiana. That was it. Other than that, nothing. And um, I'm delighted to be home. I always uh, love coming home. I love going and I love coming home. So I'll be back to Iowa another time. So when I got home, the first thing I needed to do that following morning was to weigh in because I was gone on the first. I always weigh in on the first. If you're new to this channel, uh, I come from a very large weight loss and I maintain it and I've been maintaining it for uh, going, on, uh, going on 10 years and I weigh in monthly to see if I need to make any changes in my food plan. I weighed in the next morning that I was home and I was, I was up a little bit who knew? So the changes that I decided to make, rather than less food, I decided to eliminate some of um, the things that I've been eating um, that are uh, more fattening choices. Um, so I typically have an avocado every day, and they're very, very good for you, and they're very, very delicious, um, but they are pretty fattening. And I have one whole avocado in my salad. So I decided to change that to a half. So I'll, I'll, I'll have a half of an avocado every day. That's even, that's more reasonable. I think most people have a half of an avocado, but I, the, the whole avocado was working for me. So I was eating a whole avocado every day, but see, I just, I just look and I check. Um, I don't need to check every day, but I check once a month. And I said, Perhaps if I cut that down, you know, my weight will stabilize. Uh, another thing is uh, the nuts and seeds that I have for breakfast. I did a little comparing, a comparison. So like for a, a protein serving, I, I, I either have like two ounces of nuts and seeds or uh, three eggs. So I, I, I did, I crunched some numbers and I saw like in a serving of, um, uh, almonds and pecans. That's usually the nuts that I have. Two ounces of almonds and pecans. Um, the calories and the fat grams were a lot higher than the three eggs. And the three eggs, the protein in the three eggs was a lot higher than the protein in the nuts and seeds. So I thought to myself, it would be a very wise choice to have the eggs instead of the nuts. But I love the nuts. I really enjoy the nuts. But they're not gone forever. But they're gone for now. So for now, I'm going to have three eggs in the morning with either rice or sweet potato um, with a piece of fruit. And that's just what I'm going to do. And I have a feeling that that will, um, that will stabilize things for me. So it's okay. Last month I was down. This month I'm up. I'll just be down again. See, this is what happens when you keep an eye on it. I don't want my head buried in the sand and not look. I also don't want to be looking every day because I did that whole compulsive weighing for years. I would like weigh myself. I would go, you know, pee and I'd weigh myself again and I would go to the gym and I come home and weigh myself again. Like, that, like I was actually weighing my body weight, like any kind of fluctuation that was going on during the day had nothing to do with whether I was getting more or less fat. <laughs> I mean, it makes no sense. You know, um, I just weigh myself in the same conditions once every month, immediately when I get up, immediately after peeing, totally naked. So I always have the same conditions. I don't have 
heavier clothes on this time than I had on last time. Or, oh, I ate breakfast, but oh, I'll weigh any anyway. So if I if I ate breakfast by mistake and I forgot to weigh, then and then I thought of it, I would just weigh the next morning. It has to be those conditions. It just makes the most sense. It's going to be accurate information. I'm standing on it for informational purposes only. I'm not standing on it to see if I'm good or bad. I'm standing on it for information. I want to know if what I'm doing is working for me to achieve my health goals. One of my health goals is to be in a normal size body. It's very healthy to be in a normal size body. So that's one of my health goals. So um, that is the way that I check that. So, um, yeah, so it's all good. I got to get to the grocery store and get some more groceries. And um, I always enjoy doing that. I love, I love going to the grocery store. I love seeing, you know, what they have, what looks fresh and what, what am I going to pick this week? And um, then I'll just come home and do some prep cooking and get some things all ready for me for the next few days. And that's just what I do. It's just what I do every month. Um, it feels, it feels wise. It feels very wise to me. You know, it doesn't feel like, oh, look at like how amazing I am, and look at how look what I do. It's it's just it's just wise. It's just wise. <laughs> you know, um, I don't want to do the crazy anymore. I don't want to do the crazy anymore. I don't want to be, you know up, up, up. And then I, now I got a 10 pound problem to take care of or a hundred pound problem to take care of. Both of those things have happened to me. Um, I don't I don't want it to be any, I want it. I just want it always in my range. I'm always in this range and I'm just hovering at the high end of it or the low end of it. And I just make adjustments. So I just stay in this range in a range that I feel great. Because every day, I just want to feel great. You know, I want to feel bright. I want to feel alive. I want to feel like I can do anything. I want to feel like I can uh, move whenever I need to move. And just, you know, I don't need to like run marathons and lift big heavy weights and be this like, you know, freak of nature old lady <laughs> i'm just i'm just somebody with a food problem all my life that has just found a solution i guess problem hasn't gone away problem is being addressed so i know what i need to do i know what i need to do um i love um following my food plan i love um, weighing and measuring all my food so that I have a plate full of food that I might look at it one day and say, wow, that looks too big. Um, I bet I got fat doing that, eating that. Or someday I might look at it and go, that's not enough. I need more than that. And then neither one of those things are true. I don't need more and I don't need less. I need exactly what's on there because it's been proven to me month after month after month after month that it's, it's working. <laughs> it's the right amount. It's the right amount. And it's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. You know, people will be like, how do you eat that much food? Well, you know, when you're not eating in between and you're not picking at food in between, you're actually hungry, like real hunger, you know? Um, and some people ask me if I get hungry in between meals. And I say, you know, when it's about time for a meal, yeah. I'm, pr I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. I might even hear my stomach growl. But you know something? Like, everybody is so, seems to be so afraid of hunger. Like, it's like this, it's like this, like it's pain. It's not even pain. I, I just, what I say, it's, it's like a God-given signal. It's the signal that God has graced me with because Nutrition is crucial to my existence. So as soon as I start getting low on energy slash fuel, my body automatically, because it's so miraculous, it automatically creates a little bit of discomfort 
might even make a little noise. Marginal discomfort, hunger is. I mean, if I'm, if I'm having breakfast at 7 and lunch at noon, and I'm hungry at noon, it's not a pain that hurts. Maybe if I was five days later, I haven't eaten, and I'm starving, uh, perhaps it would be more severe, and it would actually be pain. It's not pain. Nobody ever died of starvation in between lunch and dinner. Nobody. So I'm aware of the signal. I'm aware. I just have a little chat with my belly saying, it's coming soon. It's coming pretty soon. And then, you know, what's really interesting is how easily distracted I can be from that hunger. Like I can feel that hunger, and I know I'm not going to be eating for another hour. But my goodness, if my phone rings and I end up on the phone with somebody talking and yakking, the last thing I'm thinking about is my hunger because it's, it's only, it only gets real serious when I'm paying attention to it and I'm focused on it because whatever you focus on grows, right? So I take the focus off of that, put the focus on the phone call, and now I've, I've forgotten that I'm even hungry. Um, but, you know, when it's mealtime, I'm, I'm ready to eat, and I eat big, and I eat well. I eat clean, and uh, you are what you eat, so they say. Uh, a lot of you have written me comments on, that, on the video I did recently on um, uh, my weight loss journey. Um, a lot of people are, you know, not feeling good or having health issues and they they want to hop on this train but you know you got to get up you got to get on you got to get in here you got to do it you know um you can want it you can need it but you got to do it you got to do it so hop on the plan with me and consider following it just for just for one day try it for one day and see if it's manageable, when you, you know, prepare some things and, and put things on the scale and weigh things out and put a meal together and then, uh, and then just eat just those three meals and just see what it feels like at the end of the day. And then the next morning you wake up, if there's something that feels really good, even if it's psychologically, do it again. Then the next day, do it again. You can do it every day if you want. That's what I've been doing for April was nine years. So April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Nine and a half years. Nine and a half years. <laughs> nine and a half years of serving myself well. So I have a grocery haul. Just went down to the grocery store. Got myself some beautiful things. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I got this tea. I haven't tried this before. It's called Tulsi Original. I've had the Tulsi um, turmeric, but I haven't had the original. Um, so I'm going to try this tea. And I got some sweet baby lettuce. Yeah. Put that right in the fridge. Let's see what else I got. I got some gorgeous green onions. Look at how beautiful these look. They look gorgeous. Beautiful. I'll have those on salads. And sometimes when I cook greens, if I cook like kale or Swiss chard, I'll put some um, green onions in with that too. I got some shredded carrots for salads. I got a couple of avocados. I just got two. I usually buy a lot more, but changing my avocado consumption <laughs> I got broccoli nice big look at this it's um two pounds two pounds of broccoli and you know I just I've got it I've got a I've got a um I got my mouth fixed on some broccoli this week so I bought two so I got four pounds of broccoli I will eat all of this broccoli And 
I got white sweet potatoes. Now at this store, they're called Batata, B-A-T-A-T-A, -T -A -T -A. The, the huge. So I got three of them. I put these over here in the pantry. And those will be delish. I got some big bag of uh, two pounds, a uh, pound and a half of green beans. They look so green and so fresh. Those will be so good. I haven't had them for a few weeks, so I'm looking forward to that. And I got these strawberries. Now, let me just say, I always get organic strawberries. Oh, I forgot my microphone. Oh, God bless me. Oh. Let me try this again. These strawberries. I typically buy organic strawberries all the time. But when they have buckets of the local ones, oh, and I know they're not organic, um, I'll just wash them good. But they are like absolute candy. Look at these. Oh, my God. They're so ruby, ruby red. And they're ruby, ruby red right down to the center. They're amazing. So I treated myself to a quart of locally grown ruby red strawberries. That's a treat. That's a treat. People ask me if I treat myself, this is a treat. All right, I got to do some rearranging in here. What else did I get? I got two dozen eggs. Now, typically, I don't buy this many eggs, but because of the food changes I'm going to be making, these will be my breakfasts. So, uh, and I got some chicken. So I'll make paprika, smoked paprika chicken. I'll have the eggs for breakfast. I'll look forward to those strawberries. Like, I would just love to eat those strawberries now, but I don't eat fruit. Unless it's the morning at breakfast. I've already had my breakfast. I had a pear and I had uh, a, a rice omelet, just like rice cooked in eggs. And uh, yeah, so I won't even eat one of those because I don't eat fruit. Um, I eat one fruit serving in the morning. So my fruit serving will be six ounces of those strawberries. So I'll wash, wash six ounces of them, take the little, um, the little leaves off them, and I will thoroughly enjoy those in the morning. I don't have to have them now. I can have them in the morning. I can wait. So something else I'd like to show you. For those of you that follow my channel, you'll know that when I, while I was in Iowa, I took an art class. There were three classes, um, once a week for three weeks, two hours a class, uh, and it was called dot art, D-O-T, dot art. And you just make art with, little circles of dots with these like a little little certain tools that you dip in the paint and you make your dots and you layer dots on top of dots big ones and smaller and smaller so you get some dimension i want to show you my project now i'm just a beginner and it's not too shabby for a beginner but this is the mug that i made look at that look at that I learned all these different strokes. So there's like the regular dots, these little tiny dots that go around the big dots. Those are called decorations. You call those decorations. And these little lines right here, those are called swishes. And then, you know, the swishes have the decorations too. And um, you just layer, layer paints on top of paints. And my coffee mug that I made. <laughs> so I ended up buying all the dot art tools, I, not from, she wasn't selling them. Um, I bought them on Amazon and I bought uh, a little 12 pack of paints, just different color. It's just acrylic paint. And I'm telling you, if you're looking for a little craft to do cheap. Okay. So the tools, the packet of tools costs like, I don't know, 12, $15. That's about it. The, um, the paints probably around the same and you can really just take 
things that you have around the house and do this YouTube videos telling you everything that I learned at this class, I could have, I could have learned on YouTube. I'm glad I went to the class because it was a, it's kind of a social thing, but anything I learned on at that class, I could have learned on YouTube. So give it a try. It's, and it's also very portable because all of the supplies take up almost no space. So it's, I'm going to take it on the road with me when I go to Arizona. It could be that we're going to be out in BLM land and just hunker down for a week in one spot. And, you know, it will be nice to pick this up, you know, pick this up and, um, you know, just find, I mean, I could take like a piece of cardboard and, and I could do this and make like a mandala out of it, you know? Um, so yeah, I just, I, I recommend it as you need, no artistic skills whatsoever. If you can dip something in paint and then just press it on something, you, you pretty much got it. But, and even like these other little techniques, like these swishes, you just make that dot, but then you just drag it and you make another dot and you drag it, right? So uh, these ones that are big and then go small, you just make a dot and then don't get more paint and just keep making dots. And every time you make a dot, it's got less paint on it. So it makes them smaller. So then you get that kind of that look, that look of, um, you know, big to small, you know? Yeah. So I highly recommend it as, as just very, uh, you know, it's just inexpensive, it's portable and it's easy to do. And it's pretty gratifying because look at that, you know, pretty cool. <laughs>